Okay, 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 okay. I'm back. This is like what the third time I'm going on this video, maybe. Maybe. Um the purpose of this video is that ratchet, that hideous, that outrageous video that Miss Kenya Moore did. Miss the gone with the wind shit. Anywho. Um, before I do that, let's get into, because I know you're going to ask, the song, the video, the song that you were hearing, you heard before, um, I started talking in the beginning was from my artist, Rose J. Um, the next, he's, it's pretty hot, the next hot thing, um, no, you're probably saying your artist. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on right now that I got going on, different things, different, you know, things that I'm putting, um, my hands in but that is definitely one that I'm proud of um so that was his latest single she wants to thug and um I'm going to put all his info for features and um features and anything you know contact info you know you want him on a track you anything get at me and I'll let you know I got you boo now um the purpose of the video Kenya Moore. All day I've been seeing the Shan, have you seen the Kenya Moore videos? Kenya Moore videos, the Kenya Moore video. And I was like, Kenya Moore. The housewife bitch. Kenya Moore. That Miss USA number two, technically three, something like that. Anywho, that was just the stuff that went on in my head when I got the messages. So I get on, you know, I do my daily fix of, like, my hair is so poofy right now. Child, bless it, Lord. Uh, Funky doesn't even need to come give me a nasty press or flat iron. But anywho, um, I get on what is the young, black and fabulous or whatever, and I see it. And I'm like, okay, maybe I should have just gone ahead and you know see what this is about. The video comes on, and the first thing I'm just like, really. This is the bullshit y'all wasted my free text messages on. My unlimited texting. This is what y'all want to send me to watch. Baby, let me tell you. She starts it off in, what is it, um, that last trip they went to. Not Vegas, but before, um, damn it, I just had it. And I can't think of it. Anywho, but they're on that trip. You know when she gets into a portion? Child, she is reenacting that scene. Of course, making it seem like she just, you know. And I was seriously like, this that bullshit. And I just kept saying it because I could not believe. Excuse me. I could not believe that this is what this woman has wasted her money on. Like, this is what you took your time out to get makeup, hair, you know wardrobe you took time out of your busy life y'all oh because you know she works with greats she works with the best of the best she's worked with will smith she's worked with the late great whitney houston wait a minute pause hold on press play pause was i the only one who paused the dvr and the tv when this helper said she been acting for so long and she uh had a big role in waiting to exhale and yeah, waiting to exhale. Now, if you like me, can't nobody tell you nothing about waiting to exhale. And I'm sitting here like, okay, she won Savannah, she won Robin, she won, you know, Bernadette. What major role did you have in waiting to exhale, Kenya? Was you, what? If y'all seen her, and I will. No, I'm not even going to say I'm going to go back and watch the movie because that would be a waste of my time 
just to go back and see her two second flash if she's even in the movie uh <laughs> Kenya you just totally threw me off with that and it was just like I mean she, the way she said it when the way she said it it was like hell she was the one pulling coats and and ties and stuff out of the closet she said it like that that's the kind of role she had but anyway I'm gonna leave that alone back to the subject ahead I'm gonna leave that alone I'm gonna leave that alone um anyway so then she goes on she has this this obese white lady in a bathing suit just like Phaedra didn't you do that already on the show like didn't you show up to a public event um shoe dazzle didn't you show up to a public event that nini was having and hosting in the exact same bikini that phaedra had on that phaedra looked mighty damn good in i might add and make an ass out of yourself more than anything didn't you do that already so why rick do it in this ghetto ass video you made then she had this dude as walter um, I, that's a whole nother video in its own because I heard the interview he did where he said the helper paid him to be a man in the video. So, and it kind of made sense because if you, if you look back to the past episodes, she would say stuff and Walter was looking like, yo, that one in the contract, dog, like, I don't know what to say. And so the stuff Walter said in the video kind of made sense. Anywho, like I said, that's another video in itself. I don't care enough about the fake relationship to 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 go into the details about that. Was it? I don't know. Don't care. Anywho, then she um the best part of the video was the scene which was right after Walter I think was when the gorgeous B Scott was on there. To me that was the only, that was the only reason why I didn't completely go bananas after I seen it because B. Scott was in there. If y'all don't know B. Scott, look him up on YouTube. The guy is gorgeous. Like gorgeous. Like he is the only male that I know that looks like or that I've seen because I don't know him personally that I have seen that looks like he was born with a vagina. And that's just being 100%. That that man is beautiful. Beautiful. So I was kind of, you know, shocked to see him there. But, I mean, hey, whatever. Each his own. Whatever. No love lost. No, you know, whatever. But I just... Why can you... Why? Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Because at the end of the day, let me tell you something. Porsche is still riding around getting it being the housewife that she wanted to be with her husband uh phaedra is still producing if not has already produced i think it's, i think it's already out her donkey booty video and uh from what i can tell on twitter it's doing very well i ain't seen no damn tweets about no kenya more boot camp i'm just saying y'all know i'm the twitter guru around here um walter <laughs> but hell he was never with your ass uh, from the get go so uh where it is he's still doing it up out there in Atlanta um and what else I didn't I, I can't I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know but uh <laughs> can you maybe get you a life and while you get in that life you can have you two three four seats multiplied by ten million because that's what you need to have. And I mean, all due respect, history is what it is. You were the second um, Miss USA. Whatever. Miss USA, Miss America. That was before I was goddamn me born. Hell, I'm supposed to be 21 years old. Or well, it might have been right when I was born. Back in what? What was it? 92, 93? So what, 20 years ago? Because I'm supposed to be 21. But still, you acting like you got off that damn stage. I mean, you you acting like you was Miss 2012. It she was 93. Let that go. Let that go. For real. Let that go. Um. 
and get on your Nene leash. You know what? That's what I'm going to start saying. Get on your Nene leash. Because that bitch there, I take my hat off to Nene any day of the week. Uh, Sheree, Sheree. Well, hell, she irrelevant now, so. I don't know. What to, she should have got on that Nene team doll or whatever. But you know what? Just. I'm speechless, hell. And I'm, I'm going to end it out with that. Follow me on Twitter at Famous underscore Diva Sham. Catch me on Facebook if you like. Claire Huxtable. Instagram at Famous um, underscore Diva Sham. And again, like I said, one more time for Rosé. My artist coming out, Bentley Music Spring 2013. Catch him on Twitter and Instagram at um, Rosé J underscore. That is R-O-S-E-J-A-Y underscore. On both Instagram and Twitter. And like I say, um, y'all catch up that video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm tripping. But, I mean, it is what it is. So, whatever. Until next time, guys. Peace, love, and get the hell off my screen. Bye.